What's going on people, Guns Blazing back at it again, and today we got trolling on another level for you. So I was thinking back to the Xyz event and then how there were like healing decks to counter the self FTK decks, but I thought why don't I just do this to someone in ranked? Just go in there, heal them to over a million life points, and somehow still win the duel. Alright, so check this out, we got the username on deck, and of course we have our boy Muscle Medic, who, um, instead of dealing battle damage, he heals the opponent. So basically, we're trying to tell them, you know, it's alright. Don't retaliate, just let me heal you. <laughs> and boys, it is not easy to run this meme, so it's very fortunate that we found ourselves a Crystal Beast player. No shade to the Crystal Beast mains, it's just, you know, if this deck's gonna work on anyone, it's gonna be a Crystal Beast player. Okay, so check this out, we picked up Double Edge Sword, which is the main card of this deck. Our life points were getting a little low and he was attacking directly, but that's okay, because this combo, the Muscle Medic plus the Double Edged Sword is gonna heal us now both. Because what Double Edged Sword does is any damage that is taken from a monster equipped with Double Edged Sword is inflicted to both players. But since Muscle Medic heals instead of damages, then we both get healed. And Double Edged Sword also, if 2000 or more damage is inflicted, the card is destroyed. But since we're not damaging, we're healing instead, it never gets destroyed. Alright, now check out the attitude this guy shows me. I have a magic reflector in the deck, so I'm trying to like protect my power of the guardians, or at least that's what I thought. This guy picks up Crystal Raigeki, and I'm thinking he's gonna try to destroy that. So I reflector it, but it turns out he's going for my double-edged sword because he doesn't want me to get the healing. He wants only him to get the healing, so I can't have that. That's why I run Solemn Judgment in this deck, so that I can protect my spells or like things that don't destroy the muscle medic but bounce it because Power of the Guardians does protect Muscle Medic from destruction. But as for our equip spells, they don't have any protection in and of themselves. Also, this was not the final version of the deck yet. Stay tuned for a more optimized version of this later. There was another card I forgot and I was like, damn, why didn't I put that in? So I went for the next best thing, which is I stacked three Power of the Guardians. You know, I just risked it all for the memes. I'm like, I'm not even gonna set this solemn. I'm just gonna go in three Power of the Guardians. Because at some point, if they destroy, like, Double-Edged Sword or whatever, it's fine. Like, hopefully by that time, I get to the point where I healed myself enough where he can't kill me even if he attacks me every battle phase. So, unfortunately, here's the thing with Power of the Guardians. When you put more than one on the board, it just does a whole chain resolve. Every single time you attack, where it's just tedious as fook. I went through this for you, my boys. I farmed this for you. I'm telling you, I don't usually like that, but please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like. I farmed this content, man. This replay is about 10 minutes long, but the actual duel itself, it was like, all, I think it was an hour actually. But anyways, we're healing this guy to astronomical levels. We have that piercing healing, piercing through his monster and healing him and healing me. And now you might be thinking, how does this deck win then? Because we just healed this guy to like an unkillable amount. We're pretty much unkillable too. We're not running Exodia, although technically we could. But you may have already noticed that little good boy chilling in the left corner of our hand. Mm-hmm, outstanding dog Marone. We did a lore video on him, but basically that's our win condition. So I'm not gonna reveal it until I absolutely have to, but what he does for us is that uh, when our hand gets full, we can just discard him at the end of the turn because you can only have six cards in hand. And then his effect is if he's ever sent to the graveyard, he shuffles himself back into the deck, meaning we're never gonna deck out. Anyways, we've reached the 100,000s right now. But man, this isn't even close to the potential of healing that we can fully get. You gotta stick around for the second duel if you wanna see that with the optimized version. I think it's now that he realized that I'm not gonna deck out. He's gonna deck out before me, so he starts getting a little aggressive with his Crystal Raigeki. Our boy Marin is returning himself to the deck from the grave. He gets out his boss monsters, but they don't really do anything. They do be looking scary though, so I'm just gonna set a solemn judgment in case any shenanigans start to happen. But overall, the game's already ours. The Muscle Medic is gonna live all the way to the end. But even if he doesn't, that's all good because we have enough life points to sit on for the rest of the duel. So moving along, moving along, we're just gonna fast forward some of this because, you know, it's pretty much the same stuff. We're almost there, we all, we've almost decked him out, but 
near the end, I was like thinking, man, this guy's a good sport. He's playing Crystal Beasts. He's not FFing. He's not timer stalling. And he stayed for the full hour, meaning I could make content off this duel. So I decided to use Outstanding Dong Marin's final effect, which is instead of shuffling it into my deck, I'm going to shuffle it into his deck instead. So I'm going to deck out. He's not going to deck out on his next draw. And he's going to get the win that he deserves. Psych, that's not an effect. But actually, since he didn't FF, he's going to get 400 gems from this gain life points quest. And so am I. Anyways, if you're interested in the deck list, it's coming up soon. But right here is a card that we were missing. It's Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Which is going to make our healing process a lot more efficient. Because we can attack twice in the same battle phase. Which also means more power of the Guardians for us. As you can see, my boys, we have reached transcendent levels of healing. Both of us over 800k life points already. If you don't know what happens after you reach a million, well, you're about to find out. We're fully set up here with a Fairy Meteor Crush with the Power of the Guardians. Double-edged sword, Solemn Judgment set in case he wants to try any funny stuff. And that Royal Psy Frame Gear in the hand chilling just in case he wants to pop any monster effects that will uh, disrupt our strategy. Fortunately for us, our opponent caught on early that, you know, I'm just healing him. So he's not setting any monsters, he's just passing his turns. As slow as he is with it, I think he's a mobile player though. So that's okay. He's also rocking the starter deck, which attests to the fact that I'm not going to try this anywhere else but the low ladder. I'm not even going to try memeing the meta decks with this one. It's just not going to work. Big one mil coming up. Let's just fast forward through this. Muscle Medic already at 30k attack, meaning we're healing 60k a turn. This turn is going to get us right on the edge of uh, 1 million, and then the next turn we're going to surpass it. Okay, and here we go. Our turn comes up, battle phase, inject him, he's over 1 mil now, and the game just says, I'm not even going to keep track after it's past 1 million. And me too, I'm also past 1 million. The original idea with this deck was actually heal him and then use Yujo Friendship to like split it. But there's really no point since we can just do it at the same time. And so he was thinking here because I think he realized after I dropped my Outstanding Dog Marin, which I only revealed the last turn, that that thing's gonna come back every turn. I think he was expecting me to deck out already, which is the most evil part of this deck. Like, you have so many draw cards, so they think, like, you're obviously gonna deck out before them, right? And so they think it's all a joke. They think it's all innocent and that, you know, they're just gonna get healed and, and then they're gonna end up winning in the end. But then by the time they realize, by the time they see the Marin, they've already wasted, like, 30 minutes of their life just taking injections up the butt cheeks. And so our poor victim is now taking his time, thinking about it a bit, thinking about his options. He did set a card. He had a plan up his sleeve. When I dropped the Marin, he was going to Call of the Haunted on it. But I think he realized you can't use Call of the Haunted on your opponent's graveyard. This ain't Monster Reborn, my boy. I'm sorry. Do I feel bad about this? Yes, I do. I, I, I genuinely do. But just like my boy Song Wu did to Ali, uh, I got to do what it takes to win. I gotta do what it takes to cheese. Dude be thinking about it for a very long time. I'm just gonna fast forward a bit. And in the end, he finally caves. He finally realizes, and he's out. Oh no, but he didn't get the 400 gems though. <laughs> so here's the list. I'm not gonna get into any philosophical debates on this one about what you should run or the ratios because this is strictly for the memes anyway. Like... At this point, why do you care about consistency? It's it's a meme deck. The core, of course, is Muscle Medic. Pairs up with the Double-Edged Sword, which is an Ultra Rare for some reason. And if you're planning to try this on an alt, this is a secret pack you want to unlock. Awakening of the Ancients. You don't have to craft the Ultra Rare. You can craft a Super Rare. So Armory Call and Hidden Armory. They're both part of the same pack. Actually, most of this deck is from that pack. So that's the one you'll want to be pulling from. We have a bunch of draw cards because there's only three copies of Muscle Medic. He's really the only thing we're running. And we just want to get him ASAP. So you have Solemn and Reflector. This is going to protect your Medic and your Equips. Trice is your double tech. Meteor for Piercing Healing. And then two copies of each just in case like they hit those with Destruction. And then the extra deck, not important. 